Greetings viewers and welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Icon Professional Ratchet Flex Head 92 half inch drive. Part number is R3FG. As far as pricing on this ratchet goes, this half inch 92 Icon ratchet runs you $45. Like all the other Icon ratchets, it comes in a nice blow molded case, boxed up, has a microfiber towel. This is a soft grip handled ratchet. This is the first soft grip Icon ratchet we have looked at on the channel. The 3 8 and the quarter inch ratchet were both chrome handled. This is also the first flex head ratchet. Uh, one quick thing to note on the flex head ratchets is the shape of the front cover. In the quarter inch and three eighths, they have like a uh, teardrop shaped front cover. This one's more like a pear on the flex head. Uh, not sure if the guts are gonna be any different looking than on the standard uh, non-flex ratchets, but we're gonna take this apart and take a look at it. We're also gonna compare it against a Snap-on SL80A. It is a non-flex, longer handle, half inch uh, ratchet, but uh, we're mainly gonna focus on the guts here, not the overall ratchet itself. So long-term testing on this, we're gonna be testing to see how this soft grip handle holds up to grease and oil uh, compared to say the Snap-on. I only use Snap-on in my comparisons because that's what Harbor Freight likes to compare themselves to in their advertising and marketing. So at the back of the uh, head here, we have the on and off switch. 90 tooth mechanism. Overall length of this ratchet is 12 inches. It's an inch and a half wide. Uh, nothing uh, that jumps out on the back bullet points of the box for marketing sake. Uh, four degree arc swing as advertised with all of the other uh, Icon ratchets. The half inch drive dual 80 snap on ratchet, I believe is 4.5 degree of arc like all the other uh, dual 80 ratchets. So uh, the half of degree is pretty negligible. Uh, we'll see if it actually comes into play in some test uh, going against each other, uh, going in some tight areas and uh, checking for the strength of the over overall strength of the ratchet. So let's bring the uh, snap on in real quick. And we see the head of the icon is a lot smaller. It's not as wide and it tapers to the bottom where the flex is. If we look at them side by side, they're basically the same thickness to the naked eye without doing any measurements. The one thing that I see that stands out is like on all the other icon tools, the selector switch sits very proud of the face much more so than on the snap-on ratchets. But uh, from here, let's go ahead and tear into these and take a look at the actual differences in the mechanisms. All right, guys, we've got the snap-on dual 80 half-inch drive ratchet stripped. We've got the Icon half-inch drive ratchet stripped and no contest. It is a night and day difference here. Just looking at the size of the actual drive between the Snap-on and the Icon, the dual 80 drive versus the 90 tooth drive. Looking at the size of the paws, it's just no contest. The Snap-on is professional grade. The Icon is prosumer at best. Just the thickness here of the front plate the screws that hold the front plate on the Snap-on compared to the screws that hold the plate onto the Icon. This is the same screw they use for the 3 8 and the quarter inch, a little T8, tiny little screw, whereas we've got a T15 big boy here in the Snap-on. Snap-on is built for work on this. There's just no comparison. In the strength test, I highly doubt the Icon is gonna hang with the Snap-on. But now that we've seen the components exploded apart, I'm gonna put them back together real quick. 
and uh, we can see the difference in the actual function of the mechanism. But uh, just those that want to see, difference in the width. Icon is slightly more narrow than the paw on the snap-on, just slightly. The actual footprint for the gear teeth, slightly more narrow. And the actual circle is much smaller on the icon. Okay, so both ratchets are back together now, so we can check the action of the drive. As with the quarter and three-eighths ratchets, the Icon does have a sliding single paw rather than a pivoting single paw. So it does give a slight bit of a wedge action like the Dual 80 has when you are applying torque. But being that it is a single paw, you still have to worry about the auto reversing when you start going really fast with the thing, like all other dual uh, single paw ratchets. And uh, you know, just with age, as that spring wears, it won't put as much tension, and that paw can jump and flip the switch on you. So trying to count here to see how many teeth are actually engaging on this 92 mechanism when uh, torque is applied. Looks like we're hooking right about here at the second to last tooth. And looks like contact ends about here. So generally about that area there. I know this isn't very precise, but yeah, there we go. If I push it down a little bit, you can maybe work it out. See it a little better. So yeah, you see that paw jumps back and then engages and wedges up. Now let's check out the dual 80 mechanism on the snap-on ratchet. As with all the other dual 80 snap-on ratchets, dual paw, you don't have to worry about any of that jumping paw when you're going fast transmitting any energy into the other side of the paw. It's absorbed by the spring, so you don't have to worry about this ratchet auto-reversing on you when you start going really quickly. Also, like all the other Dual 80 ratchets, the paws are made wedge-shaped so that when you turn the drive, that will grab and wedge itself up into the housing and hold strong. And as you see from the entire length of that paw is in contact with the drive when torque is applied. So just looking at that, looking at how thick the faceplate is on the snap-on compared to the icon, comparing the size of the fasteners that hold that plate onto the snap-on compared to the icon, the size of the drive itself, the size of the paws, the snap-on, there's just no comparison. This icon is not the pro-grade tool the snap-on ratchet is. When we do some uh, torture testing, like I said earlier, I do not think we're gonna see anywhere near the holding power, breaking power of the snap-on out of this Icon 90 tooth. And for those that think that more teeth is more strength, don't think so with this design. 
pretty daggum confident in saying that the Dual 80 is much stronger than the 92 Ficon. But like I said, that's speculation for now. We won't know till we get down to the actual testing of these tools. So with that said, we'll go ahead and close this video out now. And right here, hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.